Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to import a Google Sheets data to ChatGPT, import the full data set and then make an analysis based on that Google Spreadsheet data. Alright, to be able to do that you have to use this Chat with G Sheet ChatGPT plugin. If you're not familiar with this Chat with G Sheet plugin, I have a full tutorial on this on my website where you can learn about some of the use cases and I also share some of the best prompts you can use the Chat with G Sheet ChatGPT plugin with. And you can also get access to a complete database of all currently available ChatGPT plugins that can be installed from the ChatGPT plugin store. You can search this plugin database by category, plugin name, description, and get quick access to ChatGPT plugin video tutorials, the best use cases and prompts for all available ChatGPT plugins. The database can be downloaded for free, but you can also support the maintenance and the frequent updates of the database with a small donation. Any support is appreciated. You can get access to this database by using the link in the description below. But now let's see how you can import Google Sheets data to ChatGPT and use that data for data analysis inside ChatGPT. All right, so before you would be able to use the plugin, the Chat with G Sheet plugin, you have to first make sure that you have enabled the plugins feature in your ChatGPT account. And to be able to do that, you have to be a ChatGPT Plus subscriber. If you don't know how to do it, I have another tutorial that you can check out. It's really easy to do. Then once plugins are enabled, all you have to do is click on new chat on the top left. Then make sure that GPT-4 is selected. Then you have to install the chat with G Sheet plugin. If it's not in the installed plugin list, you have to scroll down here, select plugin store and install the chat with G Sheet plugin. And last but not least, you have to enable the plugin and you can do that by clicking the checkbox next to the name of the plugin. Right now, let's see the data set we need to import to ChatGPT. So this is the test data set we're going to use. So as you can see, there are 21 rows. The first one is the name of the column and there are a couple of columns here as well. And of course, you can do this with a larger data set. So this is just an example. So we're going to use this one. And if you want to import a Google Sheets data set to ChatGPT, you have to make sure that the Google Sheets is shared with anyone with the link. So by default, the Google Sheets are usually restricted. So it means that only people with access can open the Google spreadsheet, but you have to change this to anyone with the link. You can leave it on a viewer role, but then click on done and copy the link. And now we're going to be able to use the plugin to import out this complete table. And we're going to use a very simple prompt. So as you can see, this is the prompt I have written. Of course, you can be more nuanced with your prompts. So if you have multiple sheets on a Google Sheet, then you can specify the sheet, the name of the sheet, the cell numbers, the exact cells or tables you want to use. In this example, this is a very simple Google spreadsheet. So we're going to use the table the plugin will find, which is one table. So import this table from this spreadsheet and tell me which product has the highest revenue. So you can not only import the data from Google Sheets, but also use this chat with G Sheet plugin to do some analysis with that data. So this is what we're going to do. So click on send message here. So as you can see, you don't have to use any kind of function. Natural language is good enough because ChatGPT is clever enough to recognize that it has to use the chat with G sheet plugin. And this is what it has done. First, it has fetched the URL of that document. Then as you can see, it has fetched the complete table. And based on that data, it made an analysis of the spreadsheet. So as you can read here, to find the product with the highest revenue, we will group the data by product name and then sum the revenue for each product. Then we will sort the results in descending order or return the product with the highest revenue. This is absolutely right. The way it come up with the product with the highest revenue, which is stock trading in this example with a total revenue of 9,000. So let's check out the Google Sheets and this is the stock trading product and as you can see revenue is 9000 and indeed I cannot see any product with a higher revenue. So this is the product with the highest revenue in the financial services category. Of course you can add more nuanced prompts and, and get ChatGPT to give you a deeper more complex analysis and get more insights from your Google Sheets data. But all in all this is how you can use the Chat with G Sheet plugin to import Google Sheets data to ChatGPT and use that data for further analysis. If you want to learn more about other ChatGPT plugins that can be used not only for data analysis, but for finance, marketing, business, productivity, stock trading, cryptocurrencies, scientific research, and more, 
I have a ton of YouTube tutorials on my YouTube channel on ChatGPT plugins and more are coming up, so make sure to subscribe. And also, if you want to get access to the complete ChatGPT plugin database that includes categories, searchable descriptions and more, you can also find the link to that in the video description below.